The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation, the Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Pass. Destroy that body while it's still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the gladiator's murder bucket list. The con artist said nothing as the gladiator prepared to take her revenge. Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. We should find shelter. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. 
That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I... I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This endless march down memory lane. It's gotta be some sort of payback. Payback? You think? Look, there's a long list of people we've only just recently pissed off. I'm sure it's one of those assholes looking for revenge. Yeah, that is a pretty long list. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. <sighs> I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. <laughs> I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Hit up. It makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid, is it? It's genius. All right. Go on then three. One. Two. Three. Go! That's a weird way around. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. What the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower. Get to the shelter. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Dear. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the ball to hold it here, and you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. That's some exciting news. Thank you, Gorgeous. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <clears throat> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <clears throat> Is this about Athena? You're feeling Thank guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what... Leave her alone! You couldn't fight fair, could you? Had to call in some goons to take her on. Goons? I wouldn't call Frick and Mordecai that. They're highly trained vault hunters, and they deserve your respect. Enough about <clears throat> Athena. Let's talk about what you and your friends. Hey! Hey, what are you doing with him? There's no need for guns. I've come to strike an accord. A what? What are the terms? It's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher, 
And you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. I wish I'd even got to kill you. Oh, you made that very clear, young lady. Very clear. You've got a deal. Ah, all right, all right. Then I shall make my deal. You will remember this. I suspected you. Vaughn! You all right? Ah, I've been better. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by the scads right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. Hell no. There's no way we're working with you. Hmm. Ah! Sorry. I think I must have misheard you. Come again. Hey! What's going on? Can we take this out? You heard me the first time. Hell. No. Must be my age catching up with me, but I still get to hear you. Maybe if I turn up the volume. Ah! Ah! Wait, we'll help ah! you. You do whatever you want. Just stop, please. That's all I wanted to hear. Patch up the nerd. The one bleeding out of us. Next time, just say yes. Then don't do it. Let your boy get all stabbed up. <laughs> Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, come on, let's start come on. with how we're gonna get Everyone there. Everyone calm well... down, okay? Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordus's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry, without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you'd stop being so negative, maybe we could How's make your tum tum there, buddy? That'll work. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you well, got the magic, together, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill hey, down idea. on every aspect Get of lost. The well, last I checked, we were stuck together, kiddo, so I suggest you play nice, because you are going to need my help. Pretty sure I told you to go away. And I forgive you, but we got to work on your manners, kid. All right, I know we've had our differences, and I'll admit I can get pretty grouchy when I don't get my own way. But to maximize our chances, I'm ready to bury that. All right. Fine. What's your solution? It's a metaphorical hatchet, especially because I don't know. I don't really have any hands right now. Oh, who's being helpful? Which is a real bitch. I tell you what. You know, I know you love hearing yourself yammer on, but just spit it out, will you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I seriously talk too much, Reese? I'm sorry, man. No one's ever told me the truth before. Thank you. Thanks for your honesty. I really appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're going to do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh... I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. 
Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do. See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. See what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. No! <laughs> I get that you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're going to get through this. Teamwork, that's how. And you better have a damn good plan. Oh, it's killer. Behold, Helios. Okay, now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rock man, man. And then it's off to here. Pandora, we have lift off. Before we dock, I'll tell a bet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Now the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. That'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office. We're all... <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! Please. And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you going to pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... I'll digestruct a vast skies. Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell them, Princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Okay, team. Um, prepare to have your minds blown. <laughs> Handsome Jack is in my head. Yeah, but damn it! Did you just just allow me to explain? Hey. When I plugged Nakayama's ID drive into my head port, I kind of accidentally uploaded an AI version of Jack into my brain. But, but it's cool. It's cool. I've, I've got everything under control. <laughs> what? You had that murdering son of a bitch in your head all this time and you didn't tell us? You asshole. And we thought August was a <laughs> Okay. If Jack's really in there, I want to talk to him. You know, just give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, that's not happening. But he'll only talk to me. Oh, how convenient. Well, that went over well. Even your oddly ripped moron sidekick took it better. 
Anyway, you know how it goes. Stitches get stitches. I just made that up. It's clever. So wait, when you fell off that balcony back there, that was Jack? And here I thought of you as a friend. I'm not one to say I told you so, but uh, I told you so. Oh, good times, huh? Have fun cleaning up your mess! Hey, whoa, 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 I'm not the only one guilty of lying. You two do it for a living. Totally different. Deceit is deceit, ladies. None of us are innocent. Don't change the subject and stop calling us ladies. Let's just say for argument's sake that you didn't mean to be a lying scumbag and that you understand that you should have shared what is an incredibly vital piece of information. So far, so good, I guess. Even if we could somehow trust you again, how can we trust Jack? No more lies. You need to level with us from here on out. This might sound nuts, but I can control him. He doesn't have the power to hurt us, even if he wanted to. If who wanted to what? All right, Valerie signed up for the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August. Watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. Just be honest. He likes us, and he's a he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? Ha! It's a living breeze of Brian Fiona, looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the race? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Scooter! Great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... <laughs> go on. <laughs> now nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacks a few times in the car hour until it pops. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, you know. Well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. We need your help. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh, man. I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quick. Uh, uh, just let him have us. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. Oh, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios and get the Gordas and Houston get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Oh, wait. When I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because, look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Jenny's been like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her feet. I'm the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Hi, Janie. Hi, hat girl. She said it was just an easy protection job. If anything's ever easy out here. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she 
forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she was protecting you, but why? She was training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. Two vault hunters ambushed her. Which ones? Brick and, uh, Mordecai. She would have beaten them too if Valerie hadn't attacked. Brick. Mordecai. Good to know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh... Goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh, man! That sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that... Scooter, want to come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, well, space buddies! seen what Pandora does to heroes, so just play hostage until we get back. You're right. Better to play it safe. And we will come back. I know. All right. 
Well, it's all you from here. Uh, I'm not sure I could keep up anyway. Bro, knee? Hmm? Just be careful out there, okay? All right, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. And you are staying here. And, uh, if you ain't back with the goods, you could use your buddy's corpse to get inside Helios. Okay, I get it. Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not crap our pants. Now you ah! are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's felt <laughs> huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. Whatever. Ah, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. See? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. Oh, what were the pepperonis... A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly uh, haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh, uh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. All right, look, Reese. What happened between you and me... That's in the past, okay? It's almost like it never happened. Let's just drop it, okay? So we can focus on finding the face. Okie dokie, I'll drop it like a moonshot into a basket full of puppies. No problemo. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Hmm. How am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now, I wanna end up psycho dinner. Oof, disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. Disturb huh? sleep pattern? Oh, Alan. Not now. Interrupt ref. <laughs> Alright, good, good, again, this time with feeling. Give him the old smackdown. Atta boy. Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep. I should punch with this arm more often. Okay, listen up because I'm about to compliment you. No. Nope. <laughs> 
kind of looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, hmm. Okay, just peeling it off, peeling it off the face, not going to barf into his mouth with your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on, peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so that, that is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off. Pinch it off. Uh, right. Seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, <laughs> oh. Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! So, once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One. Yeah. Hey! Hey, you made it! And you're not even bleeding! Awesome! Psycho with chest bomb. Boom! Did you say bomb psycho? <laughs> Yeah, where? There. <laughs> Whoa, wait! Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. Hey, man. Don't think you're not helping with this. How about some plastic gloves? You know, just uh, keep it sanitary? No? Okay. Well, let's just all get diseases then. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash, you look about as low down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within ten seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran, or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? All right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kinda want... All right, thanks, V. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that.
You're up, Sash. Make it quick. Not impressing anyone with this, but it's all right. So, uh, I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have kept Jack a secret like that. It's kind of a weird thing to be dealing with. Not that that's an excuse. It's, it's just what happened. And I wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm not even going to ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. It suits you. Is that a pun? Oh, no. <laughs> that is hilarious. I get it. Um, I'm just saying that it looks very convincing. It's a, it's a good look for you. Thanks. But I'm gonna be burning these clothes once this is over. Naturally. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. Just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. Oh. Skin unlocked. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... Oh, definitely weird. Well, it's certainly... big. Hello. That's Scooter for you. Hopefully this Where's works. Where's Charlie going with us? Yeah. Me too, actually. Okay. Okay, cool. Because sometimes it, it don't be working. But how are you this morning? Did you eat? Did you hydrate? <laughs> hey, she know I'm looking at her sister. Honestly, usually I'd, I'd be eating, but I ain't eat this morning. Probably just gonna eat some chips. I think I still have bread left. I could make French toast. Um, I did drink some water though. What's good, TT? How are you? Let me shout you out. Uh, she is also a streamer. Very funny, chill, nice vibe. Um, I changed uh, my Twitch name back to just Chef Naya. I wanted to keep it the same as my YouTube. Um, pretty much all of my social medias have the same name. Just want to keep it on. Um, on brand but um I just have one I'm good I'm just chilling I wanted to do a little morning stream cuz the next two days not gonna be streaming it's just one of those two days uh, could be used as you know personal days and just focusing on school yeah I tried like you know the other story games but I feel like I'm 
really good with uh, decision driven games. This is my realm. So, uh, did you hear about the news? I think Microsoft uh, bought Activision. Um, what well, I don't know what that uh, game uh, brand is. What you think? You think you think uh, Microsoft is gonna be able to turn them around? Yeah, yeah. I couldn't say the word right, but yeah, they um brought them this morning. Cause I remember hearing about them it was not in a good light. So I'm just, even though I'm not into games that heavy, I just wonder how that's gonna go. See this. What you think? Cause I know a lot of those games are shooter games. I don't play shooter games. Oh, hold up, shit! Damn, I wasn't paying attention. Little help? Not a problem. That's creepy. Right. Sorry. Yeah, I tried shooting games a long time ago. I realized I wasn't the first person. I needed to see every angle, then try GTA. And just realized it wasn't for me. I know it's where we're from, but I woke up on Twitter and then I seen like my bro post it and then now it's a space going on on Twitter about it. Good morning, I Dev. I hope you eat before you drink you any problem. coffee. I always do. At least with you. No so coffee before you eat. I don't peaceful. Give you a shout out. Here. From up here? Sure. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas uh, on game how changer, that? game changers, or gaming. Are we just winging it again? We get the beacon and ditch Valerie's goons. Yeah. Leave him on Hyperion. Mm, I don't think Valerie will like it if August is left behind. I'm not really concerned with what Valerie likes and dislikes right now. Yeah, I gathered as much. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife for me, is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh, well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? I know ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that. Stop it! Come on, man. I gotta get some out of this trip. Scooter's earned the right to cash in on this trip. If it weren't for him, we'd still be stuck down on Pandora. And August, what exactly have you done for this mission? Exactly, August. Thought. You haven't done anything. Awesome! That seems like a bad idea. Well, no one asked you. <laughs> Is that a person? Yep. Henderson. Henderson. Oh no no. Don't no. Oh, you're going out air air dust. No shit. Tell us something we don't know. <laughs> so this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it. We could really use your advice here. The ship requires additional frost. Okay. Without the medicinal frost, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Which is bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now go fix it. Now turn them other rockets up to 11. I want to say about both drugs. There are things 
coming off the thing. That's normal. This is normal? Yeah, we're running like real hot right now. Crazy hot. What we gotta do? This is our only shot. Okay, we're about to hit escape velocity. When we do, you gotta shut these puppies down. You hear? Yeah, yeah, I hear. Do you? How can you hear anything? Shut up, Ivy. No one's talking to you. Three, two, one. Go! Bruce, bitch, take off. So then, why are the alarms still going? Now that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. What does that mean? Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Everyone stay calm. We got this. Ah, there's a the girl I fell in love with. Ew. Huh? Ew, no. Ew, ew, no, no, no. Uh, no. Nigga, you give me the creeps. We, we. We be friends, but uh uh, no, not nothing romantic. Uh, don't you worry, your pretty little, yeah, all of you, yeah, mm -hmm. yourself, but I'll Back walk up. you through it though. Let's go. Be careful, Fee. That's right. Easy does it. This will give me so much anxiety. I don't want to go to space. I don't ever want to go to space. Move. Hold the shit. It's pretty though, but uh, I I gotta see it from afar. See you soon. Right. Eat first before you even think about putting coffee. Oh, you got it. All right. All right. No. What? <laughs> when you press it, you gotta pull your arm out real quick because it's gonna clamp down something fierce. You got me? We I heard you the first time. That's not scaring me, bro. You're almost there. Oh. Boom. Let's go. Found some crackers or a piece of toast. Yeah, you don't have to be a full meal, but at least put something in your stomach before you put coffee. Because if you drink coffee first, your body's gonna hurt. And you'll be like, oh, oh, why my stomach hurt? Bro, this nigga got his arm trapped. Can't do step two without step one, right? No. Guess my arms aren't quite as long as I thought. And open the cabinets, find something, or make Guys, something. That rocket's at critical. You gotta hurry. No, no, I, I can pull you out. Listen, there ain't nothing you can do that I ain't already tried. No, man, we not, we not, no, no, Stucky. Uh, what's going on out there? Nothing. Don't 
Don't you worry. Fiona's got this. Hey. Hey. You gotta go over there. Pull that latch and cut this rocket loose. Nah, we getting you out, please. No. Time for anything else, you understand? No, I am not leaving you. That is not an option. It is, and that's the only option, all right? No. no. Fiona, look at me. This baby's gonna blow, okay? That Why the people I like gotta die? You Why can't Valley big bitches can't die? Or August? Why? Why? Why Stucky gotta die, man? And then this is some bull crap. Right? This some bull crap, man. Why the people I like gotta die? Man. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys. Hug. I'm not giving you a kiss, though. You're a good friend, but uh, we're not touching that romantic level. Man, I could almost cry, man, but I'm not. I'm not, not that emotional yet. Can you just cut your arm off or break it or something, bruh? Alright, y'all. This is probably the end, but you see Moxie or Ellie, you tell them I did some awesome shit. Okay? It's been real. That's this some bullshit. Some bullshit, but if I don't get the kill Valerie ass, I'm, I'm I swear to God, I break this game. But no, I'm not gonna break it because I brought it on the system. That so was the first casualty of the mission. We gon' honor, we gon' honor Schooner. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel. It's the least we can do. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. Man, Scooter, man. Man, Scooter didn't have to go out like that. started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, the vet's not at, uh, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. Here we go. I repeat. Identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chilling in my office. Just uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? 
<laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. Disable security, I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. <laughs> You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh, what's the word? Sup, ladies, what you been doing? Talking about boys. Discussing casual misogynism and how it manifests in corporate executives. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What? Well. <laughs> Just getting around. And boys, Captain's brother is finally marrying his boyfriend. Oh. This is the happiest I've ever been. Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. Yeah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandora trash, no less. With half a loader button stuck to the top. Oh. And what's that thing you dropped say? Catch a... Whatever the hell it says, it was a dull satellite. Now I suggest you start telling the truth before I blow your head off. So, what were you doing down there? Yeah, hell you. Tracking down $10 million that was stolen from my gear. So where's the money? It, uh, flooded. Uh. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... Uh. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets, bragging about how you managed to lose $10 million. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Hey, Batch, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Really, bitch? you lost a critical Hyperion asset. Deal? What deal? It's a little late to play dumb, Hugo. So we agreed that I'd bring you Reese's head? This is priceless. Really, bitch? You had one job, and, well, you blew it. Really, bitch? That's how you do me? I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smart ass you are under question. Sure, let's talk to him. But if I go down, you're coming with me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Test me. Find out what I know about you. If you think I'd make a deal and not have my ass covered, then you don't know. It's been real. But bitch, you a whole. That's how you do me, you bet. You, we were supposed to be friends. We're standing by in the caravan. 
this is how you do me? The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're late. Oh, for the password. Dance? Let's dance. Hey, not bad, Keller. Good luck keeping up. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting tired. Child's play, right, pal? But well, the security is a bit tough. Get out of my face. Now I broke the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec. Let me find you. Can you give me a bet? So this is the camera. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. Yeah, I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Let's switch with Fiona. Okay, we're at the hub of. Heroism? Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. It's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. These assholes, so proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, checking the schedule. All right, a guide will be coming off our tour at any second. We're on it. All right, there's the tour guide. Standard, distract and grab. Yeah, when I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her patch. Oh, 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 what about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you got to get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Man. Private Gordis is on the job. Uh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that free hyperhydrated crap, I bet productivity. Nothing gets caught. 
dropped me in whiskey out. You. Do you have any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide lady? The tour guide lady. She's the head of all Helios tours, and you're superior. So show some respect, Rhoda. Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Good job, Gordy. Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordis. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. You guys are a tour group. We're the Handsome Jack VIP experience. The best tour money can buy. It better be. So are you going to give us the tour or not? Yes. Oh. Oh. You kept us waiting long enough. All right. I shouldn't say lose that attitude because I don't know who the hell you're talking to. Get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This depicts... Oh my god. I cannot wait to hear about this. Handsome Jack. Oh my god. Defeating. Um. God damn, but you sound horrible. And what didn't Handsome Jack do? The entire army of Gremdilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. What a mess. Whoa, you are totally blowing my mind right now. Be so dumb. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No friggin' way. Jack's infamous horse, made from real diamonds. And, uh... Wish I had a horse like that. Whoever rides this horse is granted three wishes. All three of Jack's wishes, naturally, were for more guns. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kind of just looks like a chair. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Jack's chair of champions. He made every great decision from this chair. He ate brunch, lunch, and dinner here. He even strapped it to the back of his diamond pony to prance into battle. Can I sit in the chair? That chair is not for sitting. Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne. You catch my drift. Oh, shit. I'm lying. Wait a minute. That wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? That was a test, people. And you failed. Wait, what? How does that work? All right, enough chit chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Hey. 
game. I'm gonna need Let's go, Scarfy. Oh, oh, I knew there was something off about her. Bitch, yeah, she's so ugly. She was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Screw you. You can't talk to me like that. Says who? <laughs> I just did. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Let's do this, Gervy. How are you doing this morning? Even you can't ruin this for me. Come on, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Did you eat? Did you hydrate? I can see it from here. Maybe I can just stop. What? Oh boy. I, I I I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh. It ought to be. I paid good money for that. Sure. Go for it. Handsome Jack, here I come. I'm good. I'm just chilling. Uh -huh. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the handsome Jack VIP experience. Oh, we hope man. you enjoyed your tour. Right, Goodbye. Right, lady. I ain't cleaning that shit up again. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job. Oh, come on. Just open the door, bitch. Come on. Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay. Wacky hacky is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and and, and that is saying a lot. I I I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a global grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to... Appreciate you for coming and, by. And, uh, maybe if we, uh, um, I'll hold tight. I gotta call you back. But that's here. Crap. He said to hold tight. Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First, you give me a body that isn't recent, then you go hacking my computer. What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. You, uh, really want to talk to me like that? You can't just come back after what you did and expect things to be the same. Sure, I can. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was really, bitch? whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you betrayed me. You're only out for yourself. If you couldn't handle the risk, maybe you shouldn't have taken Vasquez's deal. My deal. I am Vasquez in the... Uh... So in the first place... Be shut up. Weren't recent Vaughn your friends? They were dead the second they set foot on Pandora. If I was gonna lose them anyway, I might as well get something out of it. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't raised? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Mallory's the one who pawned that body off on me. She must have switched corpses. I wouldn't worry though, Reese is probably still dead. I want his head here. I don't care if he's dead somewhere else. No, you really don't. I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? And, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mine here, the pen of the bunch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. 
Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Really? That's how this is going down? A stun rod? Oh, wait a second, that's the one... the one I gave... Therese? Shocking. I know. Get out of my office, Ivan. Unless you'd rather take the airlock. How dare you threaten me? Threaten? No, this is happening. Free lunchtime is over. Bitch. Like, you see me with a stun. You really gonna try to walk and come? Think I'm not gonna hit your ass? You a betrayer? Really, bitch? Sold us out to Vasquez. But she was our friend. No, oh, friends are rare when money's on the table. I'm sorry, Reese. So, yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown, and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh, I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no lock. Everybody's gonna die. At least we're all doomed together. Yay! Come on, Reese. It'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would have drained the friggin' battery on Yvette. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation town. Jack, if you're not here to help, get lost. Wraith, what's going on? Are you, are you talking to Jack? Hey, hey, pipe down for a second, please. Jack says he might have a way out of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Was he teaching you how to be a bigger dick? <laughs> I'll leave you to it. As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Just, 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 just to make sure, this trap door is it a is it a way out door or an instant death trap door? You know, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but am I gonna die? When I go through it, you know, I'd be insulted if I didn't know you better. Which is it? It's the key to our whole plan. You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. You're, you're just. You're just pulling my leg, right? Ordinarily, sure. This is no time for jokes. Not with the event mess and your disguise breaking down. Okay, then. Guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jack hole there. So, did... Jack bestow any pearls of wisdom? Yeah, more or less. Well, let's hear it. Hey, Feet, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it, and do it quick. I gotta go. Alright, we do this Pandoran style. Hey! This horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life. <gasps> why? Why is it? You didn't see anything. Why is it? 
doing that? Stop looking! Why is it bleeding? No, there's, there's blood. Why is there blood? It's a real horse. It's a real horse. Nigga, I shot a horse. I told you, just get arrested and meet me. Wait, are you there? Vaughn? Vaughn? Vasquez? Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! Screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I see you know one. Nothing. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Lee. Things are going great. Shut up. Shut up. I could have swore you said reason. How much of a beating did you lay on these two, huh? Clearly they're brain damaged. I mean, just like the regular amount. Hey, come on. Clearly not the way this one's babbling on. 
So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh, yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Well, I love yeah. some good baked mac and cheese, you feel me? Nice job. Nice job. So, what is this plan exactly? Jack told me about a trapdoor that leads to his office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. And I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait, we gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. You! Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Unclear, but it's all we've got, so... There's that. Well, I'm overflowing with confidence. That's the spirit! Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem. Hurry up, Reese. Okay. Oh! How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Wait, you can do it! Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy! Easy, <laughs> right? Stupid, nice robot. You heard her! Run! Run! You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave up the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you. Things are going to get messy if you start messing with us. You don't want to go rogue and throw Vaughn's life away, do you? I shut the don't fuck forget up. what's on the line here. Dude, I am in the middle of something. I'm going to have to call you back. What? Listen to me, you... God, so dramatic about everything. Want some spam? The jet's office. <laughs> and so far, I have done this whole episode without looking on, on YouTube. In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. This place is just overflowing with assholes. I don't know how I stood it for so long. Because you had to. But hey, you're in the big leagues now. Wow. 
I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gorda speaking? Well, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. A ton of atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy myself because we're in the middle of a plane. Welcome to my trophy case. Huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing that company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. <sighs> Gordas, you there? Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is. All right? Okie dokie. Get it and lead up. Oh, this. This shotgun. It's legend freaking dairy. <laughs> I period named it the conference call because you're going to want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> then you kill them. Cowgirl! Yeah, I don't, uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, that was my girlfriend's hat. Well, her first one before she became a sexy badass sheriff type chick. He <laughs> suited her. I appreciate everybody for coming through. Just chilling, vibing with me. Injectors, <laughs> eager to jump in the big chair, huh? That suits you. You look good. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pink. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room, and now you're here. I don't want to rule Hyperion. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big, important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. Feels like I'm sitting in the chair of a supervillain. But you could succeed where I failed. Use our power to make things right, Reese. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh, Gordas, come back over here. Wow! Your whole belly is the same thing. What are the odds of that? Oh, Nico. I feel like a little. She's so fucking. Oh, fucking... Ready, bitch. So, Damn. Hello, Dobot. Together, 
Can't just stay where he is. Where she is. Of course. Still, you gotta know what you want. You're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Oldie. Remember? Look at the vault. Finish what I started. If there's a tentacle monster in there, I don't care anymore. Oh, you, you don't gotta explain. I <laughs> was all about the vault. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Hell no! You're a psychopath. Why would I trust you? After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted. Oh, I knew it. The moment you plug me into your empty little head. Kiss my ass. You died alone. No friends, no family. I am not gonna be you. You don't deserve to be me, you piece of shit. I'm not gonna talk. I'm using the trap door. These people are killing my nerves. You're a maniac. Oh, no, shoot. That's the end of episode four. Well, let's see. I appreciate everybody for coming through. Uh, gonna rate my boy Dev. Came in earlier. So, um, in a few minutes, I'm gonna be uploading episode three, and then Friday, I'm gonna upload uh, episode four to YouTube. If you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube it's right here on the road to 400 subscribers but yeah we're gonna raid out I appreciate everybody that came If you are just a viewer, rate two if you are a sub. Deuces.